Hey guys, um, it's Yingling Lokyo slash Land the Viking here, and I am, uh, you know, you know, you may know me from AOE or Minecraft videos, but I'm doing something a little bit different this time, which is a programming tutorial video. Um, at Story Dev, we're we are, we're all pretty familiar with programming. You know, we've uh, published games, mods, uh, you know, general software kind of stuff, cool programming, you know, all kind all kinds of stuff we've done. Um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna do some tutorials now. And personally, I don't really like uh, learning from programming tutorials, but I know a lot of other people do, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, and you know, if you want, if you like this, let it, let us know. We'll do some more. Um, and you know, tell us uh, what you want to be tutorialized. You know, we can do anything. You know, almost anything you ask. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll give it our best shot. Um, yeah, so this for first tutorial is about generators in Python, which is a uh, fairly advanced topic. Generators are a type of object which is iterable, like a list, but they're also sort of like functions, which is interesting. So, uh, to get started, let me just show you a basic example of uh, iteration so that um, we're all, you know, on the same terms and we all know what I'm talking about. Uh, here we go. So I'm just going to iterate through a list, which means loop through the list, and print out every value. So L equals hello world from Snorri, right? And uh, for element in L, print element, right? So we're just going to print uh, everything in L. We're going through it here, and we're printing that value here. So D C D Dropbox slash projects slash snorri dev programming videos. Uh, and then generator tutorial dot So we get hello world from Snorri. There we go. Pretty straightforward. This is a basic thing in Python. Um, now let's say we want to iterate through a list again, but what if we want to, you know, print every number, or get a list of every number below 50, or below um, some some number that is divisible by 7, right? Um, so we can do that with a list, and we'll, we'd probably use a function to generate that list. And this is where generators can actually, this is where they come into play, and this is where they would be better to use, but I'm going to do it with a list first so you can understand exactly um, what a generator replaces, and uh, yeah. So let's make a function. Oops, sorry, I've been doing other languages. Def, um, def f. We'll just call it f. So you know, we don't have to write a lot. Def f limit. So it'll give us every number below limit, which is divisible by seven. So four, i uh, in range limit. Okay, so that gives us every number between zero and one less than limit. We're just gonna loop through them in this for loop. That's another example of iteration um, through a list. Actually, this is a, this, this returns a list for i in range limit um, if i sorry i um, over 7.0 make it a float so that the division will give us decimals if necessary in a mod 1 world which means that every integer will be 1 um, if i over 7 mod 1 equals 0 so every integer will be 0 um, or 1 depending on how you want to think of it, but Python thinks of it as zero. Return, or sorry, not return, I'm thinking of generators. Uh, L dot append i. All right, now we're going to have a list and return L oh, at the end, right? So for element at 50. So basically, we're doing the same thing as before down here, except we're using a function to get the list instead of a variable. And this function will get the list based on what we wrote, right? Okay. So let's see. There we go. Those are all the numbers divisible by 7 under 50. Okay. Very straightforward. Now let's say we want to do this with a generator, which would make it faster. Um, and also more easy to read, more elegant, you know. Basically, we're going to get rid of this whole list thing in the function. We're not going to save the values into a list. Right. We're just gonna say yield i right here, and we keep this the same. Basically, what this what this means is that rather than saving everything into a list and returning it, we're just gonna return the the rule for generating these values, and then down here 
it's going to go through this code once, go through it again, keep on going through it until this for loop is done and this code is done executing. And each time, it's going to get a value based on what we wrote here. Um, yeah. So it's a lot like a function except it's not executing up here. It's not executing when you call it the first time. It's executing partially, taking one value, uh, looping through it, executing again partially, and going through it again. And the, the reason why this saves us time is because we don't have to save everything into a list and then print it out. Uh, so let's see how this runs. Um, yep, because it's the same thing. Um, you can't really tell the speed difference, but it was a little bit faster. And it's a lot less code, which makes it easy to read. Now let me show you um, another way you could do this is other than this for loop this this makes it a little e easier to see why it's a generator you could say you could save it into a variable generator equals uh, f of 50 and if here let's so let's print this out if it was a list we would actually get a list of values right if this function returned a list like before um, we get yeah but now we're just going to get this generator object watch See, we get generator object f at ox 21 edf some hexadecimal number. Um, and that's because this generator is not actually a list of values. It's just a rule to generate those values, which is this code, right? Um, and that's what's so nice about generators. It sort of merges the idea of a function with a list, and it gives, it's much faster. If you, But, um, yeah, the downside, however, is that you can only go through the generator once, because once this code executes once, as you're going through it, you can't unexecute it, so it's just going to execute the next. Uh, you know, uh, it's going to execute it again, but the values will change, etc. In the for loop, so I'll show you another way you could uh, do this as well. True, print generator dot next, right? Just the same thing, except in the end we get a stop iteration error because the code has all been executed. There's no next. Right, and that's why you can't you can't reuse it. Let's say we want to go through. Uh, see, let's say we wanted to say for i in generator print i, and then we want to do this again. See, the second time we're not going to get anything. Right, because there's nothing left in that generator. It's gone through all the code already. All right. So, last thing I want to show you guys is the shorthand for making generators. Just like there's a shorthand for making lists in Python. So I'll show you the shorthand for making lists first. Um, it actually comes from the lambda from lambda expressions. Um, I'm not sure if you're familiar with that. It's a, that's actually a similar idea to generators. Just the um, and you can use a lambda expression. You know, it, it, well, not exactly a lambda expression, but the same idea as a lambda expression to make a list or a generator in Python. And first, I'll show you what a lambda expression is. You could say it's like this. You basically you're making a function, right? Lambda x x uh, x squared. Right? That, that would be a function in Python. X times two. That would be a function in Python, which you're declaring with this lambda expression. Now, to make a, to make a um, a a list out of that, you would map it over another list. So you would say map and uh, one, two, three, and we would we would get all those numbers times two, right? This is a little off topic, but see so we get two, four, six, right? Okay. Now I'll show you where that comes into play. So basically, you can do this thing in Python where you say to make it a list, you can say it's it's similar to a land expression, it's just a little bit of shorthand. X you can say X times two for X in one, two, three, right? This would this would do the same thing. And this would return a list still. This is this is still lists. Right? We're not making yeah, there we go. We're not making um, generator object yet. But let's say we want to make this into a generator object. We want to just get the rule for making that list, not actually the list itself. Here we go. You change the square brackets to parentheses. And see, rather than getting that list before we get generator object generator at hexadecimal number. Um, yeah, so that that's the shorthand for making a generator. Just like there's a shorthand for making lists 
in Python. Um, right, and this, yeah, so you could you could use this just like any other generator. You could say for i in uh, uh, for i in sorry I didn't save it for i in g print i right and we get two four six there we go um yeah so thank you guys for watching this video let me know what you think of actually let me just summarize generators first so generators benefits very fast right um, rather than saving all these values in a list and then reading them again all you have to do is make a rule and that will be executed on runtime whenever the function is called it will execute that rule go through it again it's very efficient uh, downsides you can only use them once right so you can't you can't um, like a list you can loop through it once you can loop through it again you're not you're not changing it because that it's, it's stored there already right you're not generating it with a rule. You don't have you don't have to undo code to uh, go through it. So yeah, um, where you would use a generator, you would use a generator if you have a large amount of data and speed is important and you only have to go through it once, right? As I've said many times. But yeah, there we go. Um, hope you guys like this video. Um, found it helpful, hopefully. Um, yeah, so let me let us know if you want any other programming videos in the future. Um, we can do almost anything, like we said. So, yeah, give us a like or a subscription if you want, a comment, um, whatever. Yeah, uh, have a nice day.